Boy, first leap into films, splash. You made it, yeah? Yeah, and yeah. You're, you're ahead. So well, so far, so good. You never know about this business, though, Merv. You know? Oh, yeah? Well, tell me about well, it. Well, you, yeah. could, you could Tom. be, you know, be a florist in Santa Monica in no time at all. Yeah, uh, ten trying. minutes later. Open up a restaurant somewhere, I don't yeah. know, they serve seafood mm. or something, mm. to cash in on it. That must have been an extraordinary picture to shoot, because a lot of it's underwater. Yeah, it was a real tough job. About uh, halfway through, they said, by the way, Tom, you're gonna, you're gonna have to come down to the Bahamas to finish this movie. Well, twist my arm. I yes. I guess you'll find a way, and so you pack up and you go down and. Uh... Had you been underwater a lot? No, we as a matter we had to learn how to uh, scuba dive for the for the job. Now up to that point, scuba diving to me was like rock climbing or hang gliding, something you watch on American Sportsman on a bad Sunday but afternoon. Don't you know? do it. No, a Jacques Cousteau scuba dives. Yeah. I swam in a pool. There's a big difference between them, but something you've always sort of wanted to do, and so we, you know went into uh, instruction and now we're certified divers and I got about $8,000 worth of non-usable scuba diving equipment sitting in my garage. So you will never use so it honey, again? Honey, I had to buy it. It was there, it was cheap. They gave me 10% off. <laughs> they, it was, uh, they liked me, so I, so I grabbed it. But now the picture's over, you will never go underwater? No, again? no, no, I will again. Actually, oh, will. yeah, I have, a, a, I have some friends who dive in Hey, what a co-star. Yeah. She is Beautiful. I don't know. I don't know how this happened, but uh, I'm always up against these beautiful, tall, statuesque, blonde women. Mm. Say, Tom, you got to kiss her. You got to be in love, and you got to kiss her. Can you handle that? Give me, give me a few minutes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> try to is it embarrassing together. though the first time when you, because you just obviously met the lady. Yeah, yeah, it is. And you got to plant a big one right on her. It is. You know, you you, you try to rehearse as much as possible, of course. Yeah. Maybe, but... <laughs> Screen kisses are as we see them, or do you have to angle a little funny, which doesn't? No, you always you always get could, a little to the left, guys. Oh, you're off the marks. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, don't kiss quite so hard. That's always a good. Don't yeah. kiss quite so hard. Well, what's the point? You know why? Why are we doing this? Yeah, that's that's always something. But you know, you 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 do the job, you do it, and you do it as well as you can. Now, here's what I don't understand. How does Ron Howard? direct you underwater. You can't have earphones on because we would see them. Ron, first of all, it's impossible to look intelligent with scuba diving equipment on. It, it, it cannot be done. You have this huge, like, dashboard across your face and your, your lips puff out from the regulator. But, you know, when Richie Cunningham is scuba diving underwater, it's like 4,000. I, I said, Ron, I lose all respect for you as a, as a director as soon as you put on this funny regalia. We go down in the water, and there's about 22 safety divers in the underwater crew. And we have various hand signals. There's hold, and there's a clever, are you okay, or I am okay. Or, yeah. But we had to do a lot of uh, holding our breath for our shots because we're supposed to be gliding through the wonders of the deep and, you know, marveling at the coral and the fish and what. Plus, you don't have the masks. We yet. don't have the masks. The, the, we would have to go down with the masks so that we could see, like, where the bottom of the ocean was. Otherwise, you run into it. Yeah. You know, yeah. It kind of hurts. <laughs> so but when we get down there, the mask would have to come off, and we'd be breathing with our air tanks under our arms or tied off to something, and uh, we're blind. You know, I, you can't, you couldn't see you. There'd just be sort of a, well, maybe, maybe a little bit of the blue would, you know, you couldn't see the mic or anything like that if you were that close. So the, the hand signals are off with the mask. Right. So the mask comes off, and you've got to rub your face to get the red mark off it, because it'll show up on camera, because it leaves a red mark. Because there's like 82 atmospheres of pressure on your face, so just forcing this plate glass in your face. Get that off. Get the bubbles off. Learn how to you know, smile. Look at, look at Daryl, and we figure out, know what we're going to do. And then, the, you know, OK, we're rolling. Go. So you roll. And you do the shot, and got to remember, you know, got to remember to act. You know, we're in love. This is you know, this where this is in the movie, the continuity of all that. And you're holding your breath. Holding your breath, and there is where the universal sign language comes in, because this means, uh, you know, that, I'm out of the you know, film. That, yeah, that, that means uh, I'm out of air. And every every this was the official, you know, I am low on air. Mm. So I have, you know, it took months for the black and blue marks to disappear. <laughs> 
Do you think that Brooke Shields and Christopher Atkins went through all this for oh, Blue I'm Lagoon? I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. I guess so. I didn't realize it was that, that difficult. Yeah, but it was fun because, I mean, it's, it, it's the greatest job in the world when you have to get out, you know, you saunter out of your hotel room with a black Speedo swimsuit on and a T-shirt that ends up around your head about 10 in the afternoon. And you get in this little boat and you take this cruise out to a bigger boat and you take this cruise out to a, the dive site. You're out there, oh, do you see, is there any punch on board, guys? I'm a little parched. If I could have some, they take care of you and you jump in the water. It's a great And do your stuff? Yeah, we're standing around down there on the bottom. I had uh, this buoyancy in salt How water. How do you stay down there? I stay down there because the stunt guys would come over and put about 80 pounds of lead in my pant pockets. <laughs> And I would sink down. I, yes, as a matter of fact, you see, you know, it's So the like, director never could say, get the lead out of your pants. No. no. <laughs> but if, if, if you don't have enough weight, it's like in the space shuttle. You'll be talking to Ron, and slowly I'll start floating up. <laughs> you know, like this. And my feet are dangling up here. And that's when suddenly I come over and get, you know, the eight pounds of pig iron slapped into the back, back of my pants. Yeah. And then back, Hold the boy down. down. Right. But it always made it difficult to have to redo a shot, because you've got to get back into position, because it's all lined up very carefully. But, see, everybody else, the stunt guys, all have those wonderful flippers on. Yeah. Daryl Han, of course, she was, you know, a mermaid, so she could swim. The kid had to walk back, you know, across the bottom of the ocean. Gee. Or jump from coral head to coral head, looking out for the sea urchins that sting down there, you know, which is always gangs of fun. So I had red marks all over my ankles. Oh, I, so the I'm life tired, of an right? actor. Don't you love this? But getting back up was even, like, harder. See, you can't just leave this down there because the, uh, the equipment is expensive, but... Okay, we're going to take a break. Let's go. Boom, they're all up there. You can see them up there around the boat. And I'm thinking, I, ha I have 80 pounds extra of weight on my body. I'm trying to slowly work yourself <laughs> slowly back up there. Boy, I was sore for a week. See, that's so funny. Though, it was fun. It was But put it all together and you ended up with a wonderfully funny film.